The story of the Port of Tacoma goes beyond ships, cranes, and cargo. Its journey, set forth by the residents of Pierce County, begins in 1918, a year of destiny. While the Great War continued, people on the home front were gearing up for a new era. The people uh, were public uh, conscious, uh, desirous of having uh, the city build its own uh, light and power system, trolley line, that sort of thing. So they were not averse to government getting involved in creating business opportunities. And uh, the community was pretty much united in its great desire to be a major city. As we get close to when the citizens decide to create the Port Authority, 1918, just as you kind of move to that decision point, things are really happening in the city. Big time things were happening. The Pantages and Rialto theaters lit up Tacoma's entertainment scene. Camp Lewis expanded to support the war efforts and the Kiwanis Club chartered its first Northwest Club. So there's a lot of things that were going on that were precursors to the big decision by the countywide voters to create the Port Authority. The table was set. With a $2.5 million bond issue, Sumner farmer Charles Orton, longshoreman Edward Kloss, and banker Chester Thorne directed the port's purchase of 240 acres of land on the tide flats and the construction of three piers and a monorail system. Tacoma's longshore workers developed a reputation for hard work and independent thought. Cargo was handled with your hands. Machines did some of the work, but mostly you touched it with your hands and you put it in place. We were the first port uh, in labor to travel together to meet with customers. One of the things that attracted customers, and with customers came cargo, with that came jobs, is the labor force that worked together with the port management in keeping a Tacoma advantage. The Port of Tacoma has always been ready to take on the cargo that's coming down the road. Uh, they're not averse to uh, change or to tackling what has to be done. 100 years on, and we are proud of our legacy of creating environmentally responsible economic opportunities for the residents of Pierce County. We call it the economic engine. And that really is what it is. It's the fuel to keep the engine going. And that fuel consists of people, it consists of ideas, of equipment, of infrastructure. The port is always a changing and growing entity. Washington State is the most trade dependent state in America. And so many hundreds of thousands of jobs depend on trade in our state. Uh, we make great products, grow great food, provide a lot of services that are highly valued and in great demand all around the world. And our ports, including the Port of Tacoma, play a critical role in those job creation activities, supporting good paying jobs, family wage jobs in the state of Washington. When voters approved the Port of Tacoma, they anchored our region's economy and charted the course for the opportunities we now enjoy. Likewise. The seeds we plant today will determine the successes that our grandchildren and their children will enjoy in the century to come.